Luton Town has told Look East the club has nothing to hide in the row that's erupted with their former manager, Mike Newell. Last night, we exclusively revealed details of a letter that Mike Newell sent to the board the day before he was sacked for misconduct. In it are a number of questions about the way the club was being run, everything from agent and player contracts to the move to a new stadium. Pam Melbourne's outside Kenilworth Road now. Pam. Good evening, Susie. Well, despite the explosive nature of some of those questions that Mike Newell posed to the board, Luton Town again today strenuously denied to me that the letter had nothing to do with Mike Newell's dismissal last Thursday. I have to say, having watched our film last night, most Luton Town fans are backing their former manager. And one of the first questions that I asked the Luton Town chief executive, John Mitchell, today is whether the club had anything to hide. No. Not at all. And we, ha we would be delighted if we could come out and obviously respond to that. But I think there's two good things here. Number one is um, I think some of the public are getting pretty fed up with this. Uh, and the second reason is at this moment in time, which is frustrating for us, you know, our lawyers quite rightly are saying um, you know, that it's inappropriate for us to comment now. You can't go into details in the letter but one of the things which is quite clearly in the open was the fact that Mike Newell didn't attend a board meeting for two and a half years. Why was that? Um, I think on that particular point I, I can make a comment um, and I think it's very important you know um, as part of the contract that uh, Mike first entered into uh, his request he wanted to report directly to the chairman um, and the chairman only. Um, that was superseded by his new agreement where it was reporting to the chairman and a board representative. Martin King, the director, of course, one of your former colleagues who, who resigned last week, suggested to us last night that there's more to come. Do you think that? Um, well, I think there could be more to come if people are out to try and destabilise this football club. And I think people um, will look at what's going on will see kind of the direction that's coming from and I think they will understand that for some unknown reason people have, a, have um, a, 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 an is issue with um, the way that they perceive the club should, should be run um, and a lot of it's to do with their own vested interests elsewhere and this football club, all this board and everybody at this club is trying to do is do the best for Luton Town Football Club. Well, former manager Mike Newell has again had nothing to say about our revelations of his letter and the content of it. Unless both parties can come together, I think this is a row that's set to go on for a long time yet. Pam, thank you.